Hello everyone and I hope you're doing well. Today we have a little bit of discussion of one of the most controversial cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! at the moment and that is Dimensional Shifter. First let's start off with the basics. If you're lucky enough to not know what D-Shifter does, I'm very very jealous of you, but I'll explain it to you now. Essentially it's a hand trap that requires no cards in your graveyard to activate, and for the rest of the turn and the next, any card that goes to the graveyard is banished instead. Now if you're a newer player you may wonder why this is such a big deal, simply just wait a turn. Well. For one, Yu-Gi-Oh only lasts about three turns in the modern metagame, and two, there are a lot of graveyard-centered decks. Graveyards in modern have kind of become a second hand. Stuff that goes to the graveyard usually has another effect, so being able to turn that off shuts down a lot of decks. I'll take a classic example, uh, Lightsworn. Main strategy is just milling a lot and getting advantage off of those mills. And uh, the reason I bring up Light Swan is because it's another modern meta deck. Because it got recent support, that also dies to Shifter. I played against a Light Swan player round three. Uh, I went first on the first game and I drew D Shifter. And they passed. And then I was managed to OTK. And uh, moving on to game two, I went second. I drew D Shifter they passed again like what a fun game that sounds right Yu-Gi-Oh the game of kind of memed on for playing so many cards in one turn turned into oh you activated D shifter okay let's move on it's uh it's not fun to play and it's not fun to play against is my point here but in matchups like Light Sworn, D Shifter simply becomes a win button. You activate this card and all of a sudden your opponent basically has to either skip or end on one of the most suboptimal boards their deck can play around, whilst also having some sort of follow up left. This turns a lot of matchups against these graveyard decks into did you draw D Shifter? Yes. Okay, go next. Did you draw D Shifter? No. Okay, I guess I'll play this game. It's really frustrating to play against because it feels like there was no skill expression there. You simply saw the card. Now, I don't really play graveyard centered decks at the moment, at least, but I run D Shifter. And even playing D Shifter feels bad. It turns a game into this back and forth interaction based hand traps everywhere, you know, into. Oh, you drew the Shifter. Okay. Whilst you can argue that other cards are instant wins, there's usually better ways to play around them. I'm going to compare D-Shift to some of the other graveyard hate techs that people would run, at least before D-Shift was out, or just in general. So the first comparison uh, for any kind of banished card is Macrocosmos. So this card is the goat of all banishes. Essentially, once this is face up on the field, it's D-Shift forever and every card sent to the graveyard gets banished instead. Now this seems like it could be better per se because it lasts more than two turns, but there's a few disadvantages with it being a literal trap rather than a hand trap. For starters, you need to go first to get good effects out of it. If you're flipping it on turn two, you're gonna get a lot less value than uh, letting your opponent play for a turn and then banish. Two, Spell and Trap removal exists, Cosmic Cyclone living in every single side deck at the moment really doesn't help this, and I mean in general, there's always Spell and Trap removal in a format because Floodgates exist. On a similar line of Macrocosmos, we have Dimensional Fissure. Now, Dimensional Fissure can be activated on your turn, so it skips the weakness of Macrocosmos being a trap, but it only affects monsters sent to the graveyard. Now, in general, monsters are the important things that go to graveyard, but in recent times, pretty much anything in the graveyard can do something. Uh, it protects you against hand traps like Droll, but once again has the same weaknesses of Macrocosmos, where any spell and trap removal kills it, and you can play around it a bit more as well specifically because you can negate it you can remove it you can interact with it on the board versus d shifter you need to see you know the specifics but that's one of the worst parts of shifter for me is that similar cards like the dimensional fisher and the macrocosmos have counterplay the only counterplay for d shifter is either drawing into your call by the grave chaos hunters imperial iron wall or just slapping your opponent in the face and telling them to fuck off. Now, so far it might seem like a bit of an exaggeration. I mean, so far I've only compared a hand trap to traps and spells, so 
there's obviously going to be a difference. So let's look at some other turn ender hand traps that are in the format and have been for a while that we can compare D-Shifter to. So when a Yu-Gi-Oh player hears turn ender hand trap, the first thing they think of is Nibiru the Primal Being. Now Nibiru, when you hit five summons, you slap that guy on the field and it just tributes everything away. But the one big counterplay to this is going under four summons. A lot of decks, or almost every deck now, have to consider Nibiru. They have to consider if they can get a negate out on the fifth summon or make a good end board under four summons. You hear all what I just said there? That's counterplay. What can you do in a similar line against D-Shifter? Literally nothing. You can either lose resources because you're not sending them to the graveyard or pass. Or the third option, you're just nice like that and you have drawn the out. Like the counterplay difference is immense and they both end turns against most decks. Are you starting to see my point about D-Shifter now? No counterplay, ends turns. It's building up, we're getting there. But I suppose the big question people usually ask when people complain about D-Shifter is how would you fix it? I mean, you can't just complain and not offer a solution, right? I mean, whilst I do agree that that is the case, that you can complain about something without knowing the appropriate answer, I think I'm with them. Because I don't know if there's any fixing D-Shifter. Whilst I tend to agree that Floodgate type effects are a necessary evil in Yu-Gi-Oh, especially with how fast it's gotten in modern times, this one just isn't it. You can barely play around it at all, and it just kills almost every deck. If you have anything that wants to be sent to the graveyard, I'm sorry, but D-Shifter exists and is big in the format. I think there's a couple ways you can go about mitigating the issue of D-Shifter. The easiest one is to ban it. Get rid of it. No one will have to worry about it again. It's gone. You did the same to similar floodgates like summon limit. Just get rid of it. Whilst I think that is probably the best option, there are some alternatives that could do the trick without completely killing a card that I'm sure some people love out there. I think you could also increase or remove the ban on called by the grave. Either put it to two or three. It gives you more chances to draw into called by the grave. And I think with decks having like 20 hand traps at the moment with no exaggeration called by the grave will be welcome to kind of play through those boards and uh, i honestly don't think it'd be run at three in every deck but for decks like the graveyard center decks they might consider running more than one just to stop d shifter or you know what screw it do both ban d shifter increase called by the grave i think it'll be a healthier game and this is all coming from someone that has been handed multiple free wins from this card. This card sucks, man. Overall, I know D-Shifter is a very controversial card, and I'm honestly surprised Konami hasn't hit it yet. They do tend to have a way with the ban list to try and sell new product by banning some stuff that might counter it or be better than it. And with a lot of graveyard center decks coming out right now, like the Light Swan support and Snake Eye, I'm surprised they haven't hit D-Shifter yet. But I'll end the video with one question to you. What would you do about the D-Shifter problem if you were in charge of Konami right now? What would you get them to do? Would, they, would you get them to ban it? Would you get them to tear up every single copy? I don't know. Let me know down in the comments. Anyway, I need to go practice for the world's qualifiers and I'm going to be practicing drawing D-Shifter because that's apparently how you win at the moment. Anyway, that being said, if you made it this far in the video, please do feel free to hit subscribe. New Yu-Gi-Oh! videos each week and as always, happy dueling.